That completes our pre-test preparation. Though it's strapped inside a metal cage, the 787 Dreamliner is about to taxi out to the runway for its first flight. By conducting this takeoff, Boeing engineers start fatigue testing of the 787, a long and grueling process that puts the plane through more than 100,000 simulated flights. Essentially what we're trying to do is match the damage that an airplane would see over its lifetime. Unlike static testing, which pushes the plane to extremes to see how strong it is, Fatigue testing shows how the structural integrity holds up over time. We're demonstrating the durability of the airplane, checking our structural maintenance procedures. So we do them first on this airplane before an airline has to validate that we do have inspection techniques where we can find any cyclical damage well before the fleet will experience it. To simulate multiple flights, Boeing mounted the airframe onto a specially designed test rig and then connected more than 100 mechanical devices to the exterior from the leading edge of the wing to the tail fin to the fuselage. With this setup, engineers in a nearby control room can direct the devices to apply loads to the plane, basically pushing and pulling on the surface over and over again. So it mimics the ground air ground cycle. We're going from uh, you know, taxi conditions to takeoff, cruise, uh, landing, and uh, again, taxiing to the terminal, essentially. And because airlines will use the 787 on very different routes, stress analysts designed several flight profiles to recreate the range of conditions the plane is likely to face over its lifetime. And when we come out here, we verify that our analysis said we see this. The tests, we did see this, therefore our analysis is okay. From this day on, engineers will be testing the plane seven days a week for three years. When it's all said and done, this plane will have flown about three times the number of flight cycles a 787 is likely to face. It's part of the exhaustive program to certify the Dreamliner. As an engineer, it's a fantastic time. There's a lot of pride involved to be part of a program like this uh, and to help usher it into the public and see people flying it safely.